Hello everyone and thank you again for joining me. Um, on this episode we're going to talk a little bit about the Keyence IX H2000 which is the sensor amplifier that goes with the Keyence um, IX series sensor heads um, for the image based let's see here, the image based laser measurement system. Uh, again the laser measurement brings the, the world of laser measurement into a whole new realm for us where traditionally we would have used a single point of measurement now we can have 16 different points or we can even do a line measurement in, in a in kind of a sense of like a line scan camera or a laser profiler rather than having to do the expense of a laser profiler or the the whole use of profiling out the system where we're just doing a, a quick measurement system um, on the fly so here in front of us is the uh, the face of the Keyence IX H2000 um, controller. Obviously, you've got uh, your f four different main LEDs. So, like, obviously, your trigger, laser, output, power. Um, you've got a status and then your link indicator for your Ethernet. That's Ethernet, um, TCP, IP, as well as Ethernet IP right here. If you needed to do something different, for instance, EtherCAT, ProfiNet, DeviceNet, something like that, they do have a cute little add-on module that you can attach to this little port down here, um, which is really kind of handy. You can also do, um, I believe, additional units that attach to this mount. Now, I may have those mounts backwards, but I'm pretty sure that's the way these go. But either way, if you need to add additional uh, add-on units, you can link them together through one of those two ports as well as the communications ports through one of those two. So that's your, your main onboard communications Ethernet. Um, here's your I.O. deal. Um, you use the little uh, rainbow colored ribbon cable that Keyant sells. They'll give you all of your discrete inputs and outputs. You also have one set of analog um, controls. So you set your analog output to be whatever you want. It's a 0 to 10 volt system and you uh, can basically use that to say okay well if I hit this measuring range or whatever or an average set or whatever it is that you're looking for from your particular sensor it can send you that output control which is really kind of handy I mean yeah it, it, the huge plus side would be to have you know maybe four of those analog outputs so that you could have four different measurement points but having at least one is is one more than we have on on some systems in the past so so certainly a win-win for any uh, controls person out there. And then also just like on the IV2, power's at the bottom, which is also kind of handy so you don't have all those extra cables coming up and into this. It's just right there. Um, sensor head connection cable, same way the IV2 system, one single umbilical cable. Um, this guy right here just connects into it, and then it goes right into your sensor head on the other end. So really kind of handy that it's just one cable going from uh, sensor head to, to amplifier and then the amplifier can be housed in your control panel box somewhere um, on the top obviously is going to be your your information such as your MAC address as well as your manufacturer product code and all of that information that Keyence has with it um, that pretty much sums it up other than the other thing I really want to mention too is that the cable is the same cable that they use for the IV2 series sensor heads so uh, if you got a bunch of those laying around it's kind of handy you don't have to order a bunch or keep a bunch of those on stock you'd only have to have one type of cable for the two types of heads so definitely a win-win and a plus there as well also DIN rail mounted just like all the rest of them so um, highly uh, recommend this particular piece of equipment it's really useful for uh, the measurement whether you're doing you know a standstill measurement or whether you're doing a, a fast moving process measurement you need to just have a quick quick grab real fast so um, I would strongly consider this for any project that I've got for measurement versus the traditional way um, just because you can you can pinpoint and pick kind of your your points that you want to look for more than your adjust this sensor manually you can go through the program and control your your adjustments which is a lot to me it's a lot faster and it's a lot quicker so uh, definitely uh, something to consider in the future for any applications so uh, thank you again all for watching and uh, always remember to stay safe